NBA draft. The Utah Jazz select Cody Williams. Okay. Cody Williams. Cody Williams for to the Utah Jazz. Um make sure this pick's not getting traded. This is one where I I was like I thought like Ron Holland, if he fell, would go here potentially. Mm-hmm. Um and now that he's gone, I would have liked like maybe even a Devin Carter here. I'm just gonna look. Last year it was Cam Whitmore, where every single pick we said they should have taken Cam Whitmore. This year it's gonna be Devin Carter. All right, I'm just gonna say every single pick should be Devin Carter. <laughs> but uh Cody Williams, fine pick. Um, you know, maybe Matas Buzelis, but you already have Laurie Markin in. I just don't know the direction of the jazz right yeah. now. Yeah. Do they keep Lowry marking in? Do they, you know, you have Keontae George now, you have Con Sexton, you have like these pieces, but how do they fit together? And so I'm okay with taking Cody Williams because he is a project to me. See, I just I just don't believe in the project, I guess, uh, which is why I have him so low. Where do you uh, have him? Uh, I don't he I think he's like 21 or something like that. Uh I don't have my magic board up anymore. I'll uh, tell you what, I would have rather than pick Topic. I would have rather Topich. I would have rather uh, who else is in my Carter. Well, yeah, Carter. But I mean, in terms of projects, um, sorry, oh, projects. Um, I mean, Topich. No, I think that's really it. I mean, right, if Salon if Salon was on the board, would you rather have Salon, or would you have Cody Williams? That's tough. All right. Well, we got to move a little quicker since we we were behind. Yeah, listen time. for Cody for Cody Williams. Like, I think he can be a defensive wing. I think if he's able to, if if his shots actually real. Yeah. Um, I know he shot forty one percent, but that was on less than two attempts a game, and he wasn't very assertive with it. I think he could be like a Trevor Ariza. Like that's what I have. Trevor Ariza type guy. So they will do some passing. I don't think I do not buy any of the. He's his brother. He's going to be able to really have the ball in his hands a lot. I just don't see that with his playmaking. I think he's going to be like a third. Uh, maybe third or fourth type of playmaker, good connect, connecting passer. Yeah. Um, but you gotta, you gotta put it all together. And I'm not sure that his shooting, I don't, is there. I don't think even despite some of his athleticism, he's below the rim finisher. Doesn't really have a great first step. Yeah. Um, and he defers a lot. And for a guy that you want to be a project, like I'm not sure that, like when you watch Colorado, you you never really was like, oh yeah, Cody Williams. Like he never had a game where you're like, oh yeah, this is Cody Williams going to be really really good. And similar to Saloon, right? Like, had to be set up a lot. Didn't really have the ball in his hands a whole lot. More than Saloon, just because he, he is a better playmaker. But I, I just don't buy the – I don't really buy the upside in terms of his playmaking or shot. So, Yeah. And he did have a couple of injuries last year that maybe hindered him a little bit. I, I, I Even in the games before the injuries, I was never, like, blown away. I don't think he has a good in-between game at all. Motors was bad. Yeah. Around in the mid-range was bad. Um like had a pretty bad turnover rate, twenty four percent in the in games against uh, tier A and B uh, teams, according to Ken Palm. Um, so yeah, you're kind of just hoping he fills out like his brother did. The shot comes around, and then you have a three and D wing, like at your services two years from now. And it's a gamble. Like I guess my only point is I guess the Jazz are okay taking this gamble because they're not going to be competitive at any yep. in the next two years. So. We'll see where they're at. For NBA draft, the Utah Jazz select Isaiah Collier. Oh, there he goes. I like the pick. I like the pick too. He kind of he fell a bit, but I like this pick a lot, and I like the fit also. Now, you know he's going next to like Keontae George and like Colin Sexton and stuff, so there's not a lot of defense being played or whatnot. But uh, still, <laughs> we're talking about a team that doesn't have a lot of like defined roles outside of Laurie Markinen. Yeah. Um, a lot of flexibility here. And so, yeah, he's the best player available. Or, I mean, I have Tyler Smith available better, but he's one of the best players available right now. And so why not take him? I, yeah. I like, this. I like this. Yeah. I think, I mean, we continue to talk about it tonight is just a downhill finisher gets the line at an incredible rate 0.49, basically 50% free throw rate. Um, and so that gets him nearly six attempts a game. Obviously, that kind of gets deducted from him only shooting 67% from the line. Um, but the fact that he's able to get there at all in, in that clip is incredible. Um, he's not really the most explosive athlete, but he kind of makes up for that with him just being such a like physical player. Um, 
I really like his handle and his, his control of his body. I will say, though, that he can get a little reckless sometimes, especially as a playmaker, and you can throw the ball away. Um, obviously, he played at USC. You know, we can talk about that as much as you want, but I think that yeah. that is something he will have to work on just because some of them were were interesting. Um, I mean, now, 15 points a game. Shooting-wise, yeah. okay. There's He did shoot three a game, but he only had multiple three pointers in five games. So yeah. that is something you want to keep an eye on. Um, low volume. Low volume, oh. but I mean, he only made, he, if you're shooting three a game and only making multiple in five, you'd like that to be a little bit higher. I feel like. Yeah. Um, 16 points per game, four and a half assists. I, I think like the handle is solid in, in like, I like his handle. Spaces. Like yeah. he can really like get to a spot that he wants to get on. So I, I like that. Um, I love this pick at 29. I think what what do I have 21? I have 23. I have 20 on my board. So yeah, there you go. like just flat out, I think this is a good pick. And if the shooting comes around, we're talking about an a really, really good player here, a player that can start for you, I think, long term. Yeah, uh, in terms of player available, I think he might have one of the highest upsides. So um, uh, oh yeah. In terms like of like Isaiah Collar, if the shooting comes around, which I do think I do have a, as a major question, I'm not really buying it, but uh, and then I'm not really buying like the I don't know how good of a defender he can be. I think he can be a defender, but not like a, a high level defender. Yeah, I think he's a neutral, like not a yeah, minus, neutral. not really a plus. Yeah. So, um, and he's not the most versatile guy. And he's the, the main thing that got me, and that like again, people were trying to had call remember when Collier was a top 10 pick? Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. It's just I don't know what the hell is happening with people. Uh, we can't listen to anybody a month out from the draft. Uh, just trust our eyes. Trust your eyes, Colin. Um <laughs> But like I would see that, and then you you match up the tape and everything, and he's six five wingspan with thirty four inch vertical. He's just not a great athlete. Yeah. So it's like he's really good around the rim, crafty, sixty one percent at the rim and half court. Uh, I like all that stuff. So be happy, Jazz fans. Go with it. I honestly think the passing is kind of a swing skill, and I know a lot of people say the shooting, but like if he could pass, man. That's well, it'll really find it'll good. it'll keep him on the court if he can pass, and then yeah. hopefully that allows him to develop his shooting. So yeah. I like this pick. So be happy with it, Jazz fans. That's a good all right. Who else have they they gotten? Uh, I forgot who the first the first one they got was. I know, uh, Cody Williams. Oh, <laughs> but Cody Williams at ten, Collier. Interesting. Their West Coast team sell some tickets. <laughs> All right, cut that out. Cut, cut it out. 